up for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 192 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chance. Oh, strike. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he might be out. Straight right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice right hand. 
He blocks the punch. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He lands a big move to the body. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. He's a big knee. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Straight right hand, no good. Nice head kick. Blocks the shot. Clipped him with the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Big knee. Boom! Big jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. Right hand punch to the clinch. And just misses with that big right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up The kill shot is what they call it for going in the fight. And they both stand up. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Big punch lands in the middle. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big leg kick land. Nice punch land over the top. Another shot right on the button. The shot, that is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. And it's very difficult to recover from that. Choi's shot is blocked. And what a round! All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent.
choice strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just misses there with the left. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Nice punch. Oh! Oh! There, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, collar tie. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well. Oh, he's hurt. He's just here. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he landed the right hand there. That was a nice strike. Oh! Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, right in the mouth. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh! He's out! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed.